I'll get my, my camera and I'll stick it on the bridge and then get you. How's it going? One minute. The Drury is the summer accommodation for Halley. It was built in 1996 and it weighs about 45 tonnes. Every season the Drury needs to be pulled out of a large hole um, of snow accumulation that has built up around it. What you see happening here is large airbags that have been placed underneath the Drury. The Drury has been sat here for about a year and has been iced in. So the airbags are inflated to crack the ice off the bottom. Then all these tractors and heavy machinery are all chained together and they all want to pull this 45 ton building out of the snow and onto the surface. To move the Drury requires all hands on station to help out. Uh, if you're not in the vehicles pulling the Drury, you're directing from outside and if you're not doing that, you're inside holding things to walls. Drury lounge is placed. It was a very strange sensation to be in a building that moves. Buildings tend to be quite a solid frame of reference, so it didn't appear like the building was moving, more that there was a force on me on the inside. It was quite strange and weird to explain, but yeah. I was holding a microwave and it was very tough to do compared to this chap here who's holding a picture while sitting down. Obviously some people are more dedicated to their holding responsibilities. Oh, gold. Every building on the station needs to be dragged out of the snow. They were all buried about two metres under. So the Drury was the first to go. Next will be the garage and all the cabooses around as well. So this is us moving the garage annex, which has all the shovels and the batteries for science experiments in it. What's really interesting is because these buildings are so heavy and you're dragging them in the snow, behind it is a trail of ice and it's super slick. Even our big baffin boots can't stand on them without slipping. Oh, we can get out. I think we're all right. I had all these shovels to hold back and I was using this one shovel as like a master is shovel. That what the clanking was? <laughs> yeah. We were like going back and forth, and I was like, Ugh. <laughs> Ready? 
So our work's not finished, just moving the building. We need to get rid of all the snow accumulation off the top of it as well and get everything that's on the top free for access. So there's a schemobile up here and there's loads of science instrumentation up here. So once we've done this, that is this building ready for next winter. Yeah, it really is. This is what the Drury looks like after it's been moved. The big hole in the ground is where the snow level was last year and everything around it is what has accumulated since it's been moved last. While you enjoy this little montage of us skiing around the station, I'm going to go explain down? what my job is down in Antarctica. Ali's on the Brun ice shelf and as you expect, ice shelves are quite dynamic. It's going through a kind of a weird stage where there's two big chasms that are opening up across the ice shelf which are threatening to spill off into giant icebergs. Halley is in danger and two years ago it was moved to the continent side of the crack. Now the crack is growing very quickly and so my job down here is to service instrumentation which is tracking how the ice is moving. There are 17 GPS sites on the ice shelf and a radar that's across the crack and all of it got buried last year so I need to raise it to the surface so we can get up-to-date information about how the ice is moving and information about the science behind how the ice moves. So stick around to see some amazing footage and join me on an awesome adventure because it will be breathtaking. Thanks for watching. So these are the wasps, or the wasps.